hello viewers so quickly here are the tools and items we need for our rose making a gum paste rolling pin two brushes one for comb floor dusting and the other for water glowing or edible glue and this is my blade tool that i use to adjust my petals tip a 22 garage flora wire you can use a bigger one because this is a smaller one a ball tool to smooth in my petals a plier to bend my flora wire and of course vena you can which is optional and sepa cutter a scissors to make any cut in case if there is any and this um, aluminum foil this aluminum foil i use it to create the foundation or the base of my flower cone now you can make use of fondant or gum paste to make your fondant and um, your flower cone but i don't have that patience if i'm to use fondant or gum paste then i have to wait for a whole day or hours for my cone to dry before i start molding which i don't have that patience so i use my aluminum for it to create the base of my flower cone with this i'm secured and good to go immediately all i need to do is to just add fondant to it wrap it up with fondant use my hand to shaping it into that um, flower cone that i need don't worry keep watching once i start making the flower you see what i mean so here is my water for glowing you can use edible glue if you wish and a corn flower to dust this green pad is a foam pad that you can use to reshape or to shape your petals to any form you want and here are my petal cutters there are seven pieces in a set i will show you which of the numbers i would use i've taken out number one two three and four leaving number five and number six i took out the number seven as well so i'll use number five and number six for my flower making you also need a plastic wrap to secure your cut out petals and your remnant fondant this helps you to avoid drying up so fast so to begin i took my 22 garage for our wire bended it into two because um it's too tiny to live in a, a one piece so i have to bend it use my plier to form a hook at the tip your hook helps you to hook either your fondant gum paste stray foam or aluminum foil for your corn making so look closely how i wrapped my aluminum foil around my flora wire you fold a little bit not folding completely then you now secure the down part secure properly then you now complete your folding after securing the down part you now fold and fold till your, your aluminum foil is completely folded and there's no other space for adjustment you form a ball with it then you take a fondant flatten it a little bit apply water to it and pierce your flora wire through it and get it down to your aluminum foil then right here you can use your hands to shape it to any shape you want if you want it to be in a form sh ball shape fine then you can shape it into your flower cone you can take out the excess from the down part or from the tip part then your cone should not be too larger than your either the first number five quarter or the number six quarter it should be in size of any of these two better still should be in the size of number five um, quarter like i showed you so quickly i will be cutting out my petals i'll be using number six which is the smallest first to cut my petals so i want to say this if you're just making your flower you're just beginning to learn to make fondant or gum paste flower do not beat yourself around just be patient while you watch this tutorial at your first try you may not be perfect but don't beat yourself around you're doing the bet the right thing by trying and trying over and over again so i cut out two three three four and five petals 
then i took out the number four and five pieces petals i'm going to secure them with my plastic wrap and work with the number two and six petals which is three three to start working with my petals i used my ball to to flatten it flatten the both sides brushed the all the edges out to help it become bigger and um, more like a real petal be gentle with your petals you might find it difficult if it is your first time you might find it difficult to do this but just be gentle and if you don't really know the consistency of your gum paste so you might be finding it difficult but still work with corn flour very very often whenever you find it difficult to smooth in your petals you work with your corn flour If your petals are very soft and very reliable you can stretch it to any size any size able that is stretchable you can like you can see these tiny petals I you can see how big I've made it already okay so to begin with the main petals wrapping first you take your corn apply your glue all over your corn from the first two sets you take one petal Glue it all around the tip of your cone down to the whole body of your petal. And then you take the second petal, apply your glue all over it and glue it right opposite the first petal. Then close the both of them completely. No part of them should be open. Then from the three sets of petals, you pick one, apply your glue at the left corner of it down to the middle, allowing at least a little part from the right corner of it to be dried then you glue your petal beside the first two sets don't go completely at the back of your petals to glue go beside it then allowing the dry part of your petal to be flayed at the back of your petals and you repeat the same process with the remaining petals you wrap your petals beside your petal each petals you wrap you wrap it beside it allowing the dry part to flay at the back of your petal i hope you understand this explanation and then for the third petal now you open up the first petal and glue it inside it now you can apply your glue all over your petals and glue them completely this time you're gluing your petals completely except the tip. Little part of your tip have to be open so that you can see through it down to the first two sets of your petals. That is how the beauty of your rose making begins. Don't close the tip completely this time. Now for this second three sets, you repeat the same exact process you did with the first three sets. Apply your glue. From the left corner down to the middle allowing a little part of the right corner to be dried then to glue you go beside one of your petals you go at one of the lining of your petal and start your gluing then allowing the dry part to flay at the back of any of the petals repeat the same exact process and the third one you open up the first petal and place it there. Then you can apply your glue now. Apply your glue all over it now and close up your petals completely and accept the tip do not close the tip of your petal again allow your tip to be a little bit open so that you can see the first three sets and 
the two sets right inside now this is the four pieces of petals you do the same exact process you've done with the first three sets and the second three sets nothing changes exact thing you've done is the same thing you will do with these four petals i forgot to mention something earlier now every set of petals that you are to wrap around should be slightly higher than the set of petals before it what i mean is this first set of petals i'm wrapping currently is slightly higher than the petals three set of petals before it same thing with the second set of petals three set of petals is slightly higher than the first three set as well so this is also another beauty to your flower though rose making comes in different kinds of curve and shape that is the truth but this particular rose i made that is how it is done so now i'll be making the five pieces of um petals six pieces and seven pieces now starting from this five set of um petals a different look and a different shape comes in so just relax and watch patiently I am also still making use of the number six petal cutter. I'm still making use of the number six cutter. I have not changed yet. So now, from starting from the um, number five petals, I began to make use of my vena. Then, instead of applying my glue to my left corner, I took my skewer, then I twisted the tip part of my petal and then turned it around. Used my ball tool to make a deep hole at the middle and curved it. Instead of applying glue to the left corner now, I took my skewer, then folded the tip corner part which is the left corner i'm supposed to apply glue i folded it with my skewer look closely you see how i do twist it just um try it you will learn it it is not hard at all to do it is not i i had a little challenge with my petals they were a bit too light here and um i kind of find it a little um had to create a hole at the middle but then i have to take it gently on my petals and i, I still got what i wanted okay so this time to apply your glue you apply it in a v-shape from the left corner you apply it from above down to the down part and then from the right side you apply it halfway watch the way i'm applying because now you flipped your petals around so the curve you made with your skewer will be at the right corner okay so when you apply your glue you apply halfway to that to that curve do not go close to that curve so that your glue don't spoil your twisted curve you apply at your left corner you apply from above like i have done then to the right side you apply halfway now you also glue from the sides um, one lining of your petal and make sure it is slightly above the petals before it secondly you don't touch the middle of your petal you secure your petals by going through that v-shape you use your finger gently through that v-shape to place your petals this is a different beauty this is your flower becoming to bloom little by little this is where the beauty of your flower begin to show and like the same like we've done earlier you open up the first petal and place the last petal inside it and shut all the petals up now you don't even need to touch the tea because the little curve you made already with your skewer is an opening. You don't need to touch any tip or 
anything you don't need to stress the petals now the petals is open on its own so i'm going to repeat the same process with my number c um, set of petals and now this time around i won't be talking because exact same thing i did with five petals the same thing i'm going to do here so i will not be saying anything until i've gotten to the to a different look then i'll have to explain that part so if there is anything you don't really understand from the six to seven petals you can as well just go back to number five watch how i did it there you will definitely understand it nothing changes from henceforth as well Now, these are uh, 10 pieces of um, petals to wrap around. So, let me say this starting from these six petals, you might start finding it um, difficult to wrap around because um, your petals are now large and huge. But then, I would advise once you start applying or gluing your petals around, don't forget to make sure that the starting is slightly higher than the ones before it. You make sure that your petals are higher with this you can always indicate where you started from so that you can know where to close up your petals from and don't bother to start pressing any petals too hard to glue just be patient with it you might just give it some seconds if your petals are finding it difficult to wrap around you give it some seconds while you're holding it until it agrees to hold down at your um until it agrees to glue down before you finally let it be so that's how you keep doing it be patient with your petals at this point okay this is um 12 pieces of petals and this will be the last from the number six cutter we've been using so far now remember when you're gluing these petals be patient when you glue the first petal you'll be patient for some mini uh, some seconds you hold it to your flower some seconds before you glue another one make sure you've secured the petals before you glue another petal to the edge it will be falling out and mainly the down part should be where you pinch very well and then the v-shape you applied your glue you touch it very well because now your flower is bulky and your petals might be finding it difficult to relax so you see this is why i call this flower a rosy rose you see how bulky and beautiful it looks And now it is time to use the number five cutter, which is a bigger cutter. Okay, with this number five now, I'm going to first cut out six pieces, uh, seven pieces of petals. I'll be cutting out seven pieces of petals and then cutting another seven pieces of petal again, making all together 14 pieces. 
so now um they're going to be a different little change nothing changes from how you smoothing it you smoothed it in very large like however large you can get with your ball too and then use your vena on it but this time around there will be a little change with how we are going to twist the tip the left and the right tip so now we twist the both left and right tip of our petals we've been twisting the left tip all along but this time we twist we twist the left and the right you can as well go down the corner of your left part down the corner very down the corner not just the top tip to twist before you flip it um, around and create your curve and a hole in the middle of your petal so this time okay first i also want to work with the remaining seven petals why i'm working with it i will allow these um, seven petals um, i've worked on already to dry up a little bit so by the time i'm done smoothing and making vena and twisting the remaining seven petals then this one might already dried up a little bit it mustn't be so hard and dried no just to a little bit dried before i now glue it to my flower So now to apply your glue, you apply it in a complete V shape because this time your both part, your both side of your petals have been twisted and so you don't need to get your glue above that twisted part. So you apply completely in a V shape and to glue your petals to your flower, you flip your flower downwards and keep wrapping them on each other. You keep uh, wrapping each of the petals on top of each other. And secure mainly from your down part. If any part of the body of the petals keep falling out, then you need to apply glue to that particular spot. The last one, you open up the just a little opening and place the last petals inside the first petal, and that's how you complete it. And use your either skewer or blade tool to pinch the down part to secure very much well and you need to hold your flowers a little bit before you start gluing the last ones you repeat the same exact process with the remaining seven petals you glue the same way now i will tell you this um your petals might keep falling out a little bit so you have to be patient i have to tell you the truth don't let your pe uh, petals um don't just leave them because now you're just gluing a v-shape so the whole body of the petals is not totally glued you got to be patient you have to hold your petals for some seconds for a little bit for them to stick and relax in your flower before you now let go and pinch the down part very very well pinch it very well till it stays now you can even um, keep your flower in your straight form instead of leaving it the way i did because i held my flower for a long time before i kept it like, that, like this but if you don't have that patience then you come closer at the tip of this white straight foam um keep your flower and bend it instead of using your scissors to twist it upwards like i did you bend it downwards that way your flower can stay comfortably and the petals will dry instead of falling apart so now uh, i want to just add sepa to our flower for that more realistic look and um that will be all thank you so much for watching to this extent i do appreciate and thank you if you're my returning subscribers. You guys are amazing and wonderful. I'm giving a little cut on my sepa for that more realistic look that Rose have. 